Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ask Matt where I make real estate easier. So today we're going to talk about why do some homes not sell? Like you might be sitting on the market right now, you've been trying to sell your house, no one's making you offers, not many inspections are happening, the agent's lost interest, you don't really know what to do. I want to help you understand where you're at. Also, if you're thinking about selling, you might want to take note of this as well because you want to make sure your home's set up right from the beginning. So I think there's four reasons why your home doesn't sell. First one is price. If you're priced here and all of the data says your, your home is worth here, but you, you go on the market too high, people may not resonate with what you're asking for. So even if you're auctioning, you can still quote too high. So if you're quoting that bidding's gonna start from here, people just don't get enthused with it. There's a rule. People start logically, buyers start logically and they finish emotionally. They have to agree with what you're asking for for the house before they go to the emotional part where they start picking their bedrooms, seeing themselves living there. Once they get to the emotional part, people spend five to 20% more than they first thought they were going to spend because now they want the house. They really want it. They're thinking about it at night when they go home. They're planning their life around it. Now they want to buy the thing, but you have to get to that stage first. So first thing is price. Make sure you price your home where buyers will see value. There's another thing about the strategy, which we won't talk about on this video, but the strategy around how you get the outcome is a totally different thing. You want to make sure you hit the sweet spot with price. Everyone has access to data these days. All the buyers can pull up exactly what's sold, exactly around, just around the house, and they can get a sense of how much your home is actually worth. Buyers aren't silly. Study the prices, understand what it is, talk to your agents, get a sense of where you should start, build competition. Competition is how you'll get that great price. The next one is presentation. You need to spend time understanding how to best present your home. Engage the use of a stylist. For the sake of $500 or $1,000, a stylist is super valuable. Some people don't do it because they don't want to spend the money, but they, they lose on the upside, they lose on the other end. Because when, when you live in a home, it's totally different than when you sell a home. When buyers come to your house, you only get one chance to make a first impression, the first time. So if they walk in and they, it feels like your space, they're not gonna resonate with it the same. Sure, they might like the floor plan, but they're not gonna get emotionally connected to the point where they just wanna be in that space. You go look at the project companies and go look at their display homes, they are presented beautifully because they, they know buyers walk in there, and go, oh, wow, and then they, they start, they wanna buy the house. They want to work on that impulse, the impulse of emotion when they walk into a space and buyers go, oh wow, I love it, I love it. You've gotta get the same to happen on your place. You're probably not an ex expert in styling. Agents are not experts in stylings, styling either. I would highly recommend you engage the use of an expert who styles homes for a living, and then go from there. You wanna you, you want engage people's interest from the moment they walk through your front door, or from the moment they pull up at the, the front of your house. The position of your home could be an issue. So the position of your home may not get sun at certain times of the year, could be on the main road, could be surrounded by other properties or next to other properties that aren't that nice. Position can affect outcome. So you can't do too much about that one, but just take it in mind when you're pricing your property. And also, if you are on a main road, you wanna make sure that your presentation is so good you're gonna pull other people who wouldn't be usually looking on the main road, but they love your house that much. So they sort of all work hand in hand. Here's the last thing, energy. Energy is important. I believe an owner's energy can either attract a sale or repel a sale in a way. Because, and even your agent's energy. So if you're really stressed and anxious and like not great to be around because it's just too much for you, the sale process. I reckon spaces feel energy and buyers will feel that, your agent will feel that, you make your agent always feel like he's on the back foot and it's like, you don't want that. 
you want to hand your house over in the best possible way. You want to market it correctly, you want to price it correctly, you want to present it properly, and you want to hand it over to the person that's representing you and have complete trust and faith that it's going to work out beautifully. When you do that, you will be in an amazing energy space because you can't do anything else. And what happens then, nine times out of 10, you will attract similar types of people or quite a few people because they'll be attracted to the, to the energy in your spaces. You'll know what's going to happen. You'll feel confident about it happening and you'll feel great about the outcome. And then just allow it, just allow it to flow. When you're in the flow, all good things happen. So they're my tips on why do some homes not sell? If your home isn't selling and you want to ask a few more questions around this, write the questions in the comment section underneath and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Hope it helps. Look forward. See you in the next video.